Hi there, I'm Eitan Stein. I'm the chief of the Leukemia Service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. I just want to express to everyone how excited I am about this year's ASH annual meeting and exposition, where we have all sorts of new compounds and new therapies that we think are going to improve the lives of patients with acute myeloid leukemia. I want to highlight a few that I've seen that I think are truly exciting. Two of them are uh, classes of drugs called menin inhibitors. One of them is called Revumenib. The other one is called Ziftominib. There's been some data presented by Dr. Gus Issa and by Dr. by Dr. Harry Erba, really demonstrating that the use of these drugs for patients with KMT2A rearranged and NPM1 mutant acute myeloid leukemia is quite effective with overall response rates in the range of 40 to 50%. So what that means, just to break it down for everyone, is that if you have uh, acute myeloid leukemia with one of these specific gene rearrangements or gene mutations, there now is a therapy available to you on a clinical trial that really might um, put your disease back into remission. Um, that's something that I think is, is extraordinarily exciting, and I would encourage you to talk to your doctor about what are the genetics of your disease and are there any targeted therapies that could be considered. The other thing that I'm excited about in this very brief period of time that I have to talk to you about this is um, a medication called megrolimab. That's an antibody therapy that is being given in combination with azacitidine and venetoclax. Um, my friend and colleague, Dr. Novel Dauber from the MD Anderson Cancer Center, presented some exciting data showing that when you combine megrolimab with azacitidine and venetoclax, you get quite high rates of complete remissions, especially in those patients who have a specific genetic abnormality called a P53 mutation. So a lot of science going on, a lot of advances for patients, and uh, it's been a great meeting, and we hope that uh, once the meeting is over, over the course of the next year, we're going to make even more exciting advancements that you'll hear about uh, in 2023. Thanks so much.